Welcome back to Day of the Day. Today we've got a few days. Let's get this, basically I'm getting this out of the way, at least recording this out of the way. And then I'm gonna have to get food, then probably immediately gonna jump into D&D. &D. So I don't know when this is gonna be up, but it'll still probably end up being up sooner than yesterday's was. First off, National Iced Tea Day, and if you've been watching this series, you know I'm a very big fan of iced tea. Uh, I, I, as I have been drinking a peach iced tea in various of the videos for reasons of I fucking love it. It's great. I, lo I love love me some peach iced tea. I, lo I love peach flavoring because it tastes nothing like peach, but it's fucking great. Like it's it's just sweet and vaguely fruity, but it's not peach. That's like that's not peach. I don't know what it is, and it's great, and I love it, but it's definitely not peach. But we all call it peach, so we're calling it peach. It's like the opposite of fake banana. Fake banana also does not taste at all like banana, but also tastes fucking disgusting. They, uh, <laughs> they, made, they made, to go along with the Minions movie of all things, a version of Sugar Puffs that had little fake banana flavored ball, balls in it, which were fucking disgusting. And it was really poorly, uh, poorly advertised. It was not like, I just wanted regular Sugar Puffs. I'll be honest. I, but it wasn't clear that this was a different thing. Because obviously, cereal boxes have movie branding on them all of the time anyway. So we wrote a complaint. I can't remember what the, the outcome of that was. But yeah, that's that that's a interesting tape, but there you go. That's, I come up with these weird things on all of these, don't I? Weird, weird tangents. It's National Egg Rolls Day. Not the best Asian side dish, but pretty good. You know, you can get decent spring rolls. Egg rolls, spring rolls, whatever. Like, they, they can be pretty good. Like, I, I prefer, like, gyoza and stuff, but spring rolls are fine. National Ballpoint Pen Day, yes, because fuck fountain pens, and I'm not a calligrapher. <laughs> I mean, a lot of calligraphy is like, I, I, cool, that, that's pretty, but that took you five minutes to write something that takes ten seconds to write. It's really inefficient. It's like, it's like people can play, like, People's complaint, oh, millennials, they can't do cursive, and yeah, because I'd like to be able to read, <laughs> I'd like to be able to read the writing. And you're like, oh, we can write, we can. No, you can't! No, I know you can't, because I know, like, my granddad can't read his own right handwriting, and none of us can read my granddad's handwriting. Like, I can't read my grandma's handwriting either, but that's beside the point. <laughs> National Herbs and Spices Day, not a very specific list of herbs and spices. Yeah, we do use them in this country. I know we have a, we have a, uh, we have a reputation for making bland food. We don't all like really, but there is a lot of people like my dad. My dad is a terrible example of a British person who just likes really bland food, but that's not everyone. So that's by this point, it's probably not even the majority. Like we, we are famed for wanting to go to curry houses and Chinese food and stuff like that. Like granted, none of it's our food, <laughs> but we're, we're a big fan of it. And finally, National Black Cow Day. I can't decide if Black Cow's Matter joke is in poor taste or not, so I'm just gonna bring up that I had the idea and not actually make the joke. If you think it wasn't in poor taste and would have been funny, imagine I said the joke. If you think it was in poor taste, just acknowledge the fact that I was considerate on the, uh, the thing. Because yes, I, I think the best explanation I've heard is, if you feel like you can say all lives matter, then you can also say back black lives matter, because last time I checked, black lives are part of all lives. And it's not like... Like, that was, that was the, I think it was Nerdcube who said it. That is the best description of that I think I've heard. Because it is, it's, it's, yes, all lives matter. That is a solid statement, and you make a good point. And I hate the fact that people who, people of universally taught people who say that to be the bad guys, because most of the people who are saying it are white, and are saying it because they're racist. But yes, no, all lives matter. That is a good, fair, and accurate point. But that includes black lives. So black, you could quite happily say black lives matter as well. Because they do. Or like, yes, you're right. All lives matter. All lives matter. That includes black lives. That includes white lives. That includes Asian lives. That includes, that includes homosexual lives. That includes non-binary. Everyone. Everyone is important. Until you start being an asshole and a bigot. And basically all the people that this uh, protesting is against. <laughs> That then you're like, like you are devaluing your own life by being an asshole. In at least in my opinion, ah, that, that's that's why I say the goal in, 
is to change the world, because equality is an important thing. And I don't know why we live in this century, never alone this decade, this millennia even. <laughs> like, I don't know why, why we're in this, 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 like, we're at this point in history and still being discriminatory. And I, I've said it before and I'll say it again, there is a very good chance homophobia will have, will come and go and racism will have existed both before and after that. Because racist, racism has existed way longer than homophobia did. I don't know where homophobia came out of, because again, the ancient Greeks, like the ancient Greeks, the ancient Romans, they were all fine with it. Like, at some point in history, people decided, hold on, there's something wrong with this. Even though, at no point in previously in history did anyone think anyone would think was wrong with it. Because it builds camaraderie, I think was one of the... Was I don't remember what army it was that was like, yeah, no, that that's... You you're much you know you're more likely to put effort into keeping your your fellow soldiers. Yeah, I, I, this is a weird tension. I, I right yes, black cows, black black cows is how we got into this. I also did try and start the intro, but then I got it went to another tangent. So yes, join the flock and subscribe. Share this and all the other videos on here, or yeah, just the playlist. It's quicker and easier, and it's always one of the two links that gets put on all of these videos because if you just stumble upon one of these videos this is part of a series called Day of the Day where I go through and talk about all of the days that this one website says if I miss anything blame that website not me because it's not because I'm just for the most part going off what they say occasionally I'll see someone thing on Twitter and bring it up but that's just that's not a direct rule that's just something I do every now and again or if there is something you want me to bring up try messaging me on Twitter my Twitter is in the description of this video as well you know, ahead of time. If you're telling me any date that's already happened in 2020, then you're too late because I'm only doing this this year unless I suddenly get a very, very big budget and can start doing really crazy stuff for all the days. In that case, I might justify doing a second series. But because all the content is going to be more or less the same. I'm going off on another weird tangent. This has been Day of the Day. I told you to join the flock. I told you to share this video. I mentioned changing the world so all that is left to say is embrace the chaos and i will see you tomorrow uh, bye bye